Welcome to Greece Travel Guide and welcome to Astapalia. Uh, this is the start of my second day here. I've been exploring the island and this video we're going to tell you a little bit about it. We're currently down here at one of the beaches on the western side of the island called Vatsis, uh, which is a little difficult to get to, mostly a dirt road, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, the beach itself is a little disappointing. It's mostly uh, pebbly and shingle and looks quite stony at the shoreline as well. Um, seems to be a feature of the beaches here on Astapalia. This is the fourth beach that I visited. To be honest, they're all kind of stony, so not ideal if you're a beach lover like me. Yesterday I went to Sanaki Beach in the morning, uh, which was very pebbly and a little uncomfortable to lay out on the stones. Later on I went a bit further south to Agios Constantinos Beach, which is a bigger beach, slightly more sandy, but uh, again, a little bit pebbly, uh, but there is a beach bar there and a taverna set further back. The beach bar seemed reasonably nice, had a drink there and a club sandwich, and that was good. Definitely more busy than Vatsy's, as you can see, because I'm the only person here at the moment. Uh, it's about half past nine, 10 o'clock, so not too early. I expect there will be people turn up later, but given that it's a bit of an effort to get to, I can't imagine too many people coming here. Uh, one thing I will say is it's pretty windy on the island. Um, to be fair, I've just come from Paros and it was quite windy there too. So it's quite a barren island, not much vegetation. So I think the, uh, there's nothing really to stop the wind. I'm gonna uh, get back on the moped, head to the next beach, which is called Kamenakia, which is a little further north uh, on the southwestern coastline. And then probably this afternoon, uh, head to the other part of the island past the airport and just see what's around there. Um, there's only three main settlements on the island really. There's Hora where the port is and Livadi just southwest of the port and Analipsi which is just past the airport uh, towards the eastern side of the island. So we'll probably go and check that out later today and uh, I will talk to you again soon. Good afternoon, Kalispera. Another update for this afternoon. We did make it to Kamenakia Beach uh, earlier this morning, and uh, it is a much nicer beach than Vatsis, so if you're gonna go to one of them, I would definitely suggest you go to Kamenakia. The only downside is it's a bit of a pain to get to. Uh, I thought Vatsis was bad, but uh, Kamenakia is probably twice as far down a dirt road. Uh, Google will lie to you and tell you it's about 30 minutes from Hora to get to Kamenakia Beach, but uh, I think it assumes that it's a normal road and you can drive at normal speeds. But uh, it took me about 45 minutes on the moped. The beach itself is uh, nice, as I will show you in some pictures now. Uh, certainly seems a lot more popular uh, than Vatsis for good reason. The sea is nicer. It's still mostly pebbly and stony uh, down the sort of uh, right hand side of it but the far left sort of southern end of it is actually a little bit sandy um, which is nice it's the first beach that i found here that's got much sand on it um, and there's also a clear patch of water towards that end of the beach where you can get in and out of the sea without having to go over any stones so uh, that's good the water does get deep quite quickly um, but it's very clear and quite nice for swimming so where are we now um, i am just at the beach opposite camping Astapalia. Um, so I'm now heading sort of further east towards the airport just to explore the eastern side of the island. Uh, there's a couple more beaches, Steno is one of them and a couple more that we're going to head to uh, this afternoon and then to the 
little town of Analipsi, which is just past the airport, and uh, see what that's like. That's the update for this afternoon. Uh, this beach actually looks quite nice. It's very, very narrow. Not a huge amount of room for a lot of people, but as you can see, there are not a lot of people here. just stopped again at Mamari Beach which is just a little further around to the east from the Astapalia camping uh, beach that we were just at a minute ago. Um, actually surprised there's nobody here. The uh, beach doesn't actually look too bad, mixture of sand and pebbles. Uh, it is quite rocky in the water uh, as you can see. but we're just going to take a little walk further up because it doesn't look as rocky at the far end. Uh, it might actually be relatively clear water, so yeah, not quite sure. Oh no, I can see someone at the far end. So it's not totally deserted here, but uh, certainly not exactly what you would call popular. But yeah, this is Mamari Beach. And maybe one to check out, it's on the way. Uh, between Hora and the airport, as I say, so not exactly difficult to get to. The north side of the island, where the little beach, and then if we turn around, we have the south side of the island. The beach uh, just here is Steno Beach, which is one of the beaches that we were going to head to anyway, so. Let's have a walk down there first and see what it's like. main steno beach is the one you can see in the background so we're going to jump back on the moped and ride around to the big beach it's very nice here at micro steno though uh, it's very popular not much space left on the beach but it is sheltered from the wind today and uh, looks to have lovely shallow water so good afternoon again Kalispera uh, so just in case, like me, you were getting a bit despondent at the idea that there aren't any nice beaches in Astopalia, uh, let me show you Steno Beach, which is uh, absolutely stunning. So uh, if you want my advice on a nice beach, uh, don't go to Kamenakia, don't go to Vatsis. Uh, they're a real pain to get to and uh, not particularly nice, whereas this beach is absolutely gorgeous. Lovely clear water, nice shallow bay, and over there in the background is uh, Micro Steno. I would say this is the nicer beach, it's much bigger. Uh, there's some beds at either end, uh, down the south end behind me. Uh, there, there is some kind of a beach bar playing a little bit of music. It is still pretty windy here, you may be able to hear, but. Uh, yeah, it's actually a relatively sheltered bay, as you can see. Very calm and great for swimming, really shallow, quite a ways out. Yeah, I'm a lot happier now. I have found a good beach. Unfortunately, I only have one more full day here, but I will definitely be coming back. Going to head a little bit further east now to uh, Analipsi, just past the airport, just to see what else is there. But uh, yeah, so far the number one beach recommendation behind me is uh, Steno. So just quickly stopped on the side of the road and behind me here is the other settlement of Analipsi. Uh, it's right near the airport. You can see the hill just behind me here is the very end of the runway. I uh, haven't seen any planes recently, but you never know. Um, yeah, so we're gonna carry on 
heading around to Analipsy to the beach at the far end, which is over here. This is the last stop of the day. I am at Chrysiamos Beach, which is on the north coast, just east of the airport. And it's very, very remote, as you can see. Uh, there's nobody here, it is nearly 6 p.m. So if there was anyone here, they've probably already gone home for the day. Um, it's not as difficult to get to as the beaches on the southwest coast. There's a little bit of a dirt track. Um, but yeah, it's only about 10 minutes, probably not even that from the airport. Um, but I will say that the prevailing wind seems to be from the north, so beaches on the north coast are not as pleasant uh, with the wind at the moment. I think still the best beach I've seen on the island is uh, Steno Beach, where we were a little while ago. Uh, it's uh, by far the most sandy and the most sheltered and with the nicest sea to swim in. So that would be my recommendation for a beach to, uh, to go to if you come to Astapolia. Good afternoon, Calispella. Uh, my last full day on Astapalia today, and I realised that most of the clips I've shown you so far have been of the beaches. So today we're down at the port in Hora, and just going to give you a little tour. Uh, one interesting thing that I only learned when I got here was that the ferries are currently coming and going from this main port in Hora. Um, there is actually a new port called Agios Andreas, uh, which is a few kilometers outside Hora to the north of the island, which when I was reading online about coming here was apparently where the ferries were going in and out of. Um, I spoke to the guy at my accommodation um, when I bought my ticket to leave here tomorrow, and he said that apparently there's uh, currently an issue at that port which is the newer port, um, and therefore all of the ferries are coming and going from Hora at the moment. So uh, it's definitely worth checking uh, before you travel here, if you're coming by ferry, uh, find out which port you're gonna be coming into, uh, which I guess you can check with your accommodation, they'll probably know. Um, but that did save me uh, having to get a local bus from the other port uh, into Hora to my accommodation, so. That's uh, definitely worth knowing. Um, but yeah, uh, later on today we're going to go up to the uh, upper part of Hora, um, which I did actually visit on my first full day uh, in the evening and it was very nice, but probably going to walk back up there uh, this evening. Yeah, it only takes uh, about 10, maybe 15 minutes to walk up there. That is the update for this afternoon. and gonna have a little tour uh, of the port part of Hora now. thoughts on Astapalia. Um, I really like it here. I think uh, four days has been enough for me. Um, obviously you can always stay longer anywhere where there's a nice beach and a few good places to eat which there certainly seems to be here. It's got a nice atmosphere and uh, people seem really friendly. It's definitely a more traditional Greek island um, as you'd probably expect it to be seems to have the right mix of enough tourism to uh, have a bit of energy about it and a good selection of places to eat and drink but not so much tourism that uh, it feels crowded definitely uh, understand why it's a popular place i'd certainly recommend it 
as an island to come to if you're looking for somewhere that's a little bit less well touristed but uh, you know has enough going on to uh, be entertaining and a nice place for a holiday. Good evening or I should say good late afternoon uh, it's uh, just after 5 p.m. here and as promised we are gonna take a little stroll up this hill to the top part of Hora and have a look around at the castle and the other sites there are to see up at the top. So behind me you can see the uh, up I tried to record down at the windmills just a few minutes ago but uh, I don't think it was very successful. It's about the windiest place on the island right now. Uh, which is of course why the windmills were built there on the top of the hill to catch the wind. I've now retreated to a little corner of horror in an effort to try and find somewhere that isn't full in the wind which has been quite tricky. The, the windmills are very impressive and definitely worth coming up and having a look. Uh, they're obviously not in use anymore but two of them have been converted. I think one of them is a library and the other is a little tourist information center so that's quite cool. Uh, we're now going to carry on uh, further up and behind me you may be able to see, I mean, you probably can't, the uh, castle, Carini Castle, which is where we're going to head now. So behind me we have the Greek Orthodox Church of the Virgin Mary Evangelistria, said to be one of the most impressive Orthodox churches uh, on the Greek islands. And I did go in yesterday, it's currently closed, but uh, had a look inside the other day and it is very, very pretty. Incredibly decorative and uh, very ornate for a Greek church. Certainly one of the most decorative that I've seen in Greece, so it's definitely worth looking at. And here we are at the top of Hora at Carini Castle which is uh, also quite impressive. The outer walls are uh, relatively complete considering it dates from the 1400s. It's obviously ruins inside, but uh, you can still make out the outline of uh, all of the buildings inside the courtyard. And there's also two Byzantine churches in here as well that you can have a look around that are quite impressive. It's uh, one of the most impressive uh, hilltop castles that you'll see in the Greek islands and uh, it's definitely worth the effort to get up here even in the uh, incredibly strong wind like it is today. So that wraps up our video of Astapolia. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. And uh, I will leave you with a little montage of some extra clips that we took while we were here. And uh, look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Take care.